principal of Matata Public School has kindly allowed us to go into her house to talk about fix and fastens. So we're going to catch up with Kaz from the Bay of Plenty Emergency Management Office and see what he's got to say about the topic. Come on. Right, so here we are with Kaz from Bay of Plenty Emergency Management and uh, we're standing by like a shelf with some really cool items on display. Kaz, why have you why have you selected this part of the house to talk to us about fix and fasten? Thank you, Andrew. Uh, the reason why I'm talking about this, this item here is because it's not secure. And it's a classic household items, uh, a nice storage unit, and it looks really good. But there's a couple of things about it that make it quite interesting. Okay, show us. I'm just going to move it lightly, and you can see that it's not fixed, yeah. and a lot of the objects on there will move. So if there was to be a, a, a small earthquake, you're going to get this object moving. Now imagine if you had kids around here walking around, playing on the ground, this could be a potential hazard. So what do we do? So we've got a couple of things we can do. Uh, we've got a couple of brackets here, and these brackets can be uh, screwed into the wall. Um, find a stud in the wall, or, or if you get a jib screw, you can screw into that, and then attach that to, to your shelving. So the shelf is secure, but there's still a bit more to go. Yeah, because there's some items, particularly these nice red things, and I don't want anything to fall off. I might get in trouble with the principal. Uh, so, and it's been a while since I've been in trouble with the principal, <laughs> but don't want to do that again. So what, what do we do? How do we fix these uh, items? Well, a couple of things we'll talk about here is the first part is we want to have the heavy items towards the bottom. Oh. Uh, the higher those heavy items, the more likely it is to fall over. Um, around raising the height of the mass, but the things like this red thing here, it needs to be stuck down with something. And we've got a couple of little things, you can use blue tack, sellotape, uh, but we've got a couple of little stickies here that can be put underneath it to fix it down and, and stop it from falling. Yes, yeah, good idea. So is there any um, other part of the house we could have a look at to talk about? Oh, there's plenty. Should, okay. we, should yeah. we go? Yeah, all right, let's go and have a look. <laughs> All right, Kaz, you brought us to the Fano photo wall. Obviously not to look just at the photos. What's the point here? Well, firstly, great photos, of course. Yeah. Uh, the point is to always check your, your photos and your photo frames for how well they're secured against the wall. And often when we look, we actually notice that they're not very safe and in an event, they could fall off. So what we do is we lift them off and we have a look to see how they're secured there. And in this case, it's a nail. And we can improve upon that situation and we've got these things called shore hooks. And the shore hook uh, principle has a closed off backing and basically that means that once secured, this will not fall off. Yeah, and that would be good too, obviously for safety reasons, but you wouldn't want the photos smashed and... Absolutely, sort of absolutely. We, we can look after the photos and, and, and keep them looking good for a long period of time. So sh shore hooks, um, nice little closed off back and we just secure that on the nail and then your, your picture is secured in place. Awesome, anything else to look at through the house? We've got a few more items to look okay. at. <laughs> right, let's put the picture back. <laughs> All right, the TV. Wonder what's on. <laughs> uh, Kaz, don't want your TV falling over and go flying across the room. How's this one looking? Thanks Andrew. Uh, this one's looking pretty uh, loose, I'll use the term loose, and if we just give it a little shake, yeah, we could see if there was a very minor earthquake, not even one that's going to do any real damage, this TV could potentially fall over. Yeah, okay, so w what sort of options have we got? We've got plenty of options. The, the thing to think about is we've got to secure it down to a surface that's not going to move. It's got to be stable, have a stable base. So we look at the base of the TV. We could have a potentially a, a rubber mat under there to stop it from moving and sliding. It's a really good start. But also the back of the TV has a couple of screws, a couple of places for screws and brackets to go into. You can attach to a wall or you can attach to um, this little shelving unit here as well. That will secure it in place, and if there was an earthquake, it would not move. And there could be other appliances around the home as well that, that could be looked at. Oh, absolutely. Um, your, your big items like your fridges, um, your, your water, water supplies, your mains, um, they all have the potential to move. I know that mine are all strapped down, um, but make sure you do check. Yeah, so this is a good opportunity, good reminder to 
you know, have a look around your home with your whanau and, and look at some of those items that you could fix and fasten and go to the EQC website because they've got some really good ideas for making sure that things are fixed and fastened. Hey, thanks Kaz, it's been cool looking around the principal's home but also getting this important message across. Absolutely, thank you Andrew. Yeah, we wouldn't want our little tamariki to be affected by a, a TV that falls over so let's make sure it's safe. Yeah.